Hello Carmel members and welcome to Carmel Golf Academy TV. I am Jason Sutton, your Director of Instruction and on today's show we're going to talk about the three shots that we teach in the short game. The bump and run, the low toss, and the high toss. So let's get to the bump and run. So let's start with the bump and run. This is a shot that's played within five yards from the green. So anything five yards and in, you're going to play this bump and run shot. It's a low running shot that's going to stay low to the ground and then roll to the hole. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our putting grip in order to stabilize the wrist and to hit the ball solid. So the first thing is we're going to get our putting grip, which is going to be a little bit more up in the palm of the hand, grip down on the club a little bit. I'm actually going to set up just like I would uh, if I had a putter in my hand. I'm going to get the rotate, tuck, and tilt, and I'm actually going to stand the club up a little bit off its heel. So it's, the shaft's going to be very vertical, and then also it's going to lean forward. So on all three of these shots, once we set the club and we move the handle forward, we're going to position ourselves, we call stand to the handle. So we're going to position our center so it matches the club and the butt of the butt of the club this way. So what that does is it puts the ball back in my stance a little bit and all I'm going to do now is make a putting stroke keeping the handle forward, getting that ball onto the ground and then let it run. The thing that we must avoid is letting the left wrist break down. That's the ultimate killer that's going to create poor contact. So a flat lead wrist Keep the club moving downward, bump and run shot with a gap wedge. So let's talk about the next shot. So for the second shot, what I've found from teaching a lot of lessons is the language of chipping and pitching can become very confusing. You know, when do we chip, when do we pitch? So I don't even use that terminology anymore. We're going to call this shot that's about 20 steps or so from the green edge with some green to work with a low toss. So we're simply imagining that we're tossing a ball onto the green, landing it a couple of paces on and letting it release to the hole. So we don't need to throw this super high up into the air sort of a medium trajectory shot. So as we set up, I've got my 56 degree wedge now. I'm going to set the club down the way I want the club to be contacted, which is a slight forward lean. I'm going to stand to the handle, which is positioning the butt of the club into my stomach. And then we're just going to make a slightly bigger swing, making sure that the club is swinging down and letting the ball release to the hole. So that's the low toss. So the last shot we're going to play, we've found ourselves with a bunker in between where our golf ball is and the hole with a lot less green to work with. I've only got about probably 15 feet of green to work with, so we definitely got to go more up in the air. So we're going to play now the high toss. We've covered the bump and run, the low toss, and now the high toss. It's going to be a higher shot, a little more trajectory, a little softer landing with less roll. So now I'm going to position my shaft with a 60 degree wedge in a neutral position, not forward but neutral, to add some loft to the club, stand to the handle, right, which is going to put my golf ball a little bit more towards the middle to slightly forward in my stance. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and make a little bigger swing where we start to see some hinge where the club head gets above my hands. So it allows the club to swing down. I see a lot of you out there taking the club back to the inside and that's going to cause you to swing too much to the right and then possibly scoop it and hit it thin. So we want to make sure that club is going up and down. Our weight is going to be forward and now we're going to have to add some body pivot just like we were making a toss. Okay, We wouldn't toss the ball just with our arm. We want to make sure the body is pivoting with the arm swing so it'll look like this. Nice and high, up in the air, soft on the green. So thanks for joining us today on the Carmel Golf Academy TV. 
Hopefully these three shots are going to help you to organize and also execute your short game a little better and save you some strokes. These are some of the items that you'll get in a short game school that we teach out here at the Carmel Golf Academy. So we'll see you next time on Carmel Golf Academy TV. I'm Jason Sutton and I hope this will lower your scores.